What's up, y'all? This is your girl Amani, aka Yaya Beats Presley, and today I'm gonna give y'all behind the scenes on how I created Black AF. <laughs> about three days before Miriam reached out to me about the whole concept of trying to do something with the movement of Black Lives Matter. I was thinking to myself, you know, like, before she even reached out to me, I wanted to create something very monstrous. I just made this beat one day. Um, the same day I went live on Facebook. Let's go! Um, it's the same day I made this beat. I had made the beat at like 12 o'clock that afternoon and I was like yo this is a dope like west coast vibe beat when I made it I had intentions of like west coast I was literally thinking about Dr. Dre the entire time but as you all know Dr. Dre is like one of my influences as a producer I love his drums I love the feel of his drums the swing of his drums the tone of his drums like every single thing matters when I made this beat I was like man I'm thinking of Dr. Dre I want something something fire that's gonna make people immediately you know bob their head and be like yo that feel good <laughs> and so I went on live you know I'm sitting here playing a whole bunch of beats and next thing you know Mary reaches out to me she's like that one that's the beat that's the beat <laughs> so actually behind this track is the bread and butter which is this um, sample that I got right here. This is what creates the head vibe right here. And then we all we do is just add some, uh, some nice kicks in. of this track so later on in the track it actually changes up um there's actually three portions um of this track and so right here as you hear this is another sample that i took and i do not believe in samples but this song i had to kind of use them i normally play like 99 percent of my stuff so this was different for me but to capture the feel all these samples made sense so and it just feels good <laughs> That's, the, that's it right there, that little, yeah, this is actually Lena's part, so, and there's actually a real bass that comes in here, and I'm actually playing the bass right here. breaking down the juice part mary hit me up she was like can you go harder for juice part and i was like oh man <laughs> live version that i put on facebook was just only the first half i didn't even finish completing the song you know what i mean so this is what i came up with this is really the bread and butter of this part yep take something that sounds like man like you know what i'm saying like sounds like a black woman in church just on the back view you know what i'm saying and why not take something like that so it feels historical in a sense and so that's how deep i try to go with my production all right you know if you really think about it this beat actually has an expression stamp on it you know what i mean it feels 
angry. It feels thoughtful. It feels like there's something I want to say. And that's exactly how music is supposed to feel. And so I get why this beat makes so much sense with everything that's happening. Um, it relates to our community. Um, if we snatch the words from it and just listen to the beat and the instrumental itself, you will feel uh, exactly how I feel, you know what I mean, with everything that's going on. But when I make music, it's supposed to live on its own. And what I mean by that is you should be able to snatch the lyrics from the beat and listen to the beat and get the message. I also really want to thank Mir for allowing me to be a part of this historical project and be a producer, considered producer for this project. I absolutely commend her on picking the artists that she picked. All of them uh, murdered their bars <laughs> and I had something to say, you know what I mean? So thank you Mir. And it's also a pleasure because, you know, I'm a black female. Um, and I'm a black female producer and artist. You know, that does my heart well for us as black women, for me to produce a record for our community like this. So, so yeah, y'all stay safe out there, uh, especially with COVID going on. Um, and even more importantly, uh, stay safe with my black community. So, y'all.